Hello and welcome to the fifth episode of the Mechabricks to Unreal Engine series. In this video, I'll show you how to switch different characters easily and improve some materials. Now, there's some things we can do to make the materials a little better by making them look a little bit more like Lego. There will be a link in the description. So what you need to do is right click on any of these, click show in folder, and then you want to open up the downloads, and then you just want to drag it directly into here, and then you'll have all the files. And when you go back into Unreal Engine, all the stuff will be there. So what we want to take from this is the metal and the imperfection. So what we want to do is just open up this material that I've made. You can see that some stuff is missing. Just control click all of the textures, the metal and the imperfections. And then we just want to plug these back up. We want to mix the normal. We want to mix the two normals together and the two roughness together. So just take these, control, and then drag off of that, delete those, and then control, click, drag off of that. And now we can just copy and paste this into our first texture and drag that into the roughness and this into the normal. And then we just then make sure that's copied, click apply. And then we just want to paste these in all of it and we just want to hook it up. All right, and now you can already see that it looks much more realistic. You can see that there's scratches and fingerprints. It helps add a bit more realism and depth to the material. And then the last thing that I'm gonna show you is how instead of creating a whole new character and doing everything all over again, you can just use this exact same model and animations, but just change the materials. So let's head back to Mechabricks and I'm just gonna create a different character real quick. And then once you create your new character, you can export it and then you can just drag the textures folder from the downloaded asset. And now if we just create materials from the there's one character that can become many characters with the same animation and if you wanted to change the hair you'd have to go to blender and just import without the hair and then you'd import the hair separately and then attach it to the blueprint and I'll just show you how to attach stuff to blueprints real quick so here in the blueprint you would add a static mesh it's already have the hair on there for demo purposes I'm just gonna use a cube and in order for it to work it needs to be parented to the mesh and come over here to parent socket and then you want to choose spine 05 and you'll just have to move it to be in the right position and this also works for helmets as well, glasses or anything you need to attach to the character. And you see there's a box stuck to his head and it follows the animations, so that works well. And if you look closely, you can see that the pants aren't really working that well. So if you want to change that, you can see that the texture for Harry Potter's pants are different than the texture for this guy's pants. So you'd want to do is go into Photoshop or GIMP. So you just want to open up the one from Harry and set the opacity to like 50 and then drag in the other one from the other character make sure it's from the left side as well you'll have to do this for both sides and set that one to 50 as well and you also want to scale this down so it matches the size of the square and then with Harry's you just want to take that and match that to the proper size that's about the size that a pocket should be and then just hide the other one Set the opacity back to like 100 and then get the color picker and select the color and then add a layer and make sure it's the foreground layer and then just drag that to the bottom and then control shift E to export and just call this pants left Harry and I send it to downloads and I'm just going to mirror this and then in engine I'm going to go back and then import the new textures open up the old ones and then just replace them and then you see that the pocket lines up how it should so if you have any other textures that aren't working you might have to find the original one and then match the texture to that so that the uvs all line up that's all for today's episode in the next video we'll be adding a sword and shield thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video